Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So this is the second of the Commander 2021 decks, aka Commander Strixhaven School of Mages. This is the Blue Red Prismari Performance deck with Zaphi Thunder Conductor as the lead commander. So in here, if you've seen the previous video, we have a deck box, a hundred card deck with 17 new cards and 10 double-sided token cards. There's actually two foils in here. What you can see on the front here is simply an embossing on the packaging that's inside of here this open. So here's our cardboard deck box with our deck in there. Come on to that in a moment. And then these are just punch outs. And we use these punch outs as counters or as victory confetti. So let me put my victory confetti to one side. And have a look at the deck. That's just a spacer. Okay, so here's our cardboard spin down counter. Uh, I think you've seen enough of these already. So one side's 1 to 20, and the other one side is 21 to 40. So with these inserts, <clears throat> you've just got uh, basic commander rules, and then the main commander and then I imagine we'll see these are additional cards which feature in the deck. So there should be also a blue red secondary commander or alternate commander. Um, and I wouldn't surprise me if there's other blue red legends in here, but they don't, they're not sufficiently um, locked into the synergy of the deck that you could use them, those as an alternate commander. Uh, with those you obviously have to majorly change the deck. And they've done something else with this as well and you'll see when I get to the end of the deck what that is in terms of the main commander. So here we have a foil Zephyr Thunder Conductor. It's two blue red, one four legendary creature human shaman with magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, scry one. If that spell's mana value is five or greater, create a four four blue and red elemental creature token. Um, yep. If that spell's mana value is ten or greater, Zephyr Thunder Collector deals 10 damage to an opponent chosen at random. Now I'll point this out again in this video. If you look down in the bottom corner, there is uh, these sort of card numbers. 
So all of the cards <coughs> up to 81 are card specific for uh, this Commander product. In addition, obviously, there's going to be reprints in here, but there'll also be cards that are from Strixhaven School of Mages, and they should have the Strixhaven logo on them. So we'll keep our eye out for those different combinations. So our alternate is Veyran Voice of Duality. One blue red, so slightly cheaper to cast. It's a 2 2 legendary creature, Efreet Wizard. So we have Efreets in the deck, maybe. We'll see. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Veyran Voice of Duality gets plus one plus one until end of turn. If you casting or copying an instant or sorcery spell causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So from this angle, it looks, the way the foiling is, actually makes the artwork look quite unusual. Um, yeah, that's pretty different style there. I don't know if that's catching the light. You can see the blue and the red creatures, like elemental type creatures, either side there. I don't know how easy that is to see. So here we go. Looks like first up we've got these um, here. Now you'll see, yep, here's one. Uh, this is going to be from actually from the Strixhaven set, and it even has the set number for Strixhaven on it. So, resculpt one in the blue instant exile target artifact or creature. Its controller creates a 4 4 blue and red elemental creature token. Storm Kiln Artist 3 in a red creature dwarf shaman. Storm Kiln Artist deals plus 1 plus 0. Oh, deals. <laughs> Storm Kiln Artist gets plus one and plus zero for each artifact you control. Has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a treasure token. Another Strixhaven card. Elemental Masterpiece. Five blue red sorcery. Create two four four blue and red elemental creature tokens. Blue red, blue red, discard elemental masterpiece. Create a treasure token. So a treasure token is an artifact with tap, sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any colour. So <clears throat> we're probably going to get um, definitely treasure tokens in our token section. Another Strixhaven card. So expressive iteration, blue-red sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand. Put the Put one of them on the bottom of your library and exile one of them. You may play the exiled card this turn. So Ruth and Mercur Mercurial Artist, one blue red. It is a legendary creature orc shaman from Strixhaven. Um, so it's actually on colour legendary, but it's not. I don't think it's sufficiently synergistic, or we'll see. So, to return Rotha Mercurial, Ar Mercurial Artist to its owner's hand. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. So it's not intended as a third alternative. Um, and I suspect what you would need to do in this particular deck is make one or two changes to the deck to just make it better synergize if you're going to use this as a commander. But obviously this deck contains a number of staples for a blue-red deck of this nature that might fit in with the theme of that particular legend. Letter of Acceptance. So we're still on the Strixhaven cards. Three to cast, artifact, tap, with the, add one mana of any colour, two tap, sacrifice, letter of acceptance, draw a card. Prismari Campus is a uh, dual land from Strixhaven. Uh, Prismari Campus Center back for tapped, tap, add blue or red, four, tap, scry one. 
study hall another car oh no so this a so study hall now we're, now we're actually on to again the cards that are unique to this commander product so study hall is a land tap add colorless one tap add one mana of any color when you spend this mana to cast your commander scry three where three is the number of times it's been cast from the command zone this game Okay, so Brainstorm is a reprint, and again we can tell that because we don't have, you can see here, if we compare the two, they have the C21 number, but this one has just a regular number, whereas this has you know, 80 of 81, and 81 is the total number of cards that are unique to this particular iteration of Commander. So brainstorm, single blue to cast instant, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Living Law, three and a blue, creature avatar, star star for its power toughness. As Living Law enters battlefield exile, an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Living Law, Living Law's power and toughness are each equal to the exiled card's mana value. Whenever Living Law deals combat damage, you may sacrifice it. If you do, you may pay the exiled card without. You may, sorry, you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. Mm. Ponda is in the deck. Single blue sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library, then put them back in any order. You may shuffle, draw a card. So I suspect we're going to see lots of obviously instants and sorceries here that are going to synergize well with Commander that are sort of staple cards in that particular area of Magic Spell in blue or red or both. Serum Visions, single blue, sorcery, draw a card, scry two. Traumatic Visions. 3 and 2 blue, counter target spell, has basic land cycling on it for 1 and a blue. So with basic land cycling you can just discard the card for cost of 1 and a blue, search library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle. Treasure Cruise, Treasure Cruise is in here, reprint. 7 and a blue, sorcery with delve, draw 3 cards. So for delve, each card you exile from your graveyard while costing the spell pays for 1. Faithless Looting, single red, draw two cards, then discard two cards. It's got flashback for two and a red. So with flashback, you may cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then exile it. Fiery Fall, five and a red, instant. Fiery Fall deals five damage to target creature. This has basic sign cycling for one and a red. Humble Defector, one and a red, creature human rogue. So two, one, tap, draw two cards. Target opponent gains control of Humble Defector, activate only during your turn. Mana Geyser, 3, 2 red, sorcery, add red for each tap land your opponent's control. Seething Song, 3 and a red, add 5 red. That is our 5 red. Another reprint. Crackling Drake, 2 blue, 2 red, creature Drake fl with flying. Crackling Drake's power is equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. When Crackling Drake enters the battlefield, draw a card. Star 4. Right, Arcane Signet. So this, I suspect, is going to be in all the decks. Very handy artifact. Two to cast. Tap, add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. Oh, Hedron Archive, another reprint. Four to cast, tap, add two colourless, two tap, sacrifice Hedron Archive, draw two cards. It's pretty solid. Uh -huh, the Signet. So, yeah, I suspect to see several of these, uh, in, well, one, one each maybe in each of the decks because these are two colour decks. So, two to cast, one tap, blue red. So, we've got filtering going on there. Mindstone is in here in this particular deck. Two to cast, tap, add colourless. One tap, sacrifice Mindstone, draw a card. Oh, surprise, surprise, Soul Ring. One to cast, artifact, tap, add 
two colourless. Talisman of Creativity, two to cast, tap, add colourless, tap, add blue or red. Talisman of Creativity deals one damage to you. Got Blighted Cataract in here, which is a reprint. Tap, add colourless, five and a blue, tap, sacrifice, Blighted Cataract, draw two cards. Another no surprise, Command Tower. Tap, add one man of any colour in your colour commander's colour identity. So now we move back here to our unique commander card. So that's the cards that are have been specifically printed for this set, for this set of decks. Dazzling Sphinx, three and two blue creature Sphinx, four and a blue, four, sorry, four. 4-5 flying, whenever Dazzling Sphinx deals combat damage to a player, that player exile cards from the top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, then that player puts the exiled card, cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of their library in a random order. Magic cards don't get any easier to read. 4 and 2 blue. Sorcery, this is Inspiring Refrain. Draw two cards, Exile Inspiring Refrain. With three time counts on it. Suspend three, two and a blue. Rather than, play, rather than cast this card from your hand, you may pay two and a blue and exile it with three time counts on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter. When the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. Muse Vortex, X and 2 blue, Sorcery, exile the top X cards of your library. You may cast an instant or a Sorcery spell with mana value X or less from among them without paying its mana cost. Then put the exiled instant or Sorcery cards that weren't cast this way into your hand and the rest on the bottom of the library in a random order. Okay, another, this, these have really interesting artwork on them. That in foil, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, because this is a Commander product, I don't know if that would ever be a thing unless they reprinted it, but that would be awesome in foil, I, I think. So Octavia Living Thesis. Eight and two blue, legendary creature, elemental octopus. This spell costs eight less to cast if you have eight or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard. Ward 8. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, target creature has base power and toughness 8-8 eight, eight until end of turn. This in turn is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Sly Instigator. 3 and a blue. <coughs> creature wizard. Creature human wizard. 2-4. Blue tap. Until your next turn, target creature and opponent controls can't be blocked. Goad that creature. Until your next turn, that creature attacks each combat, if able, and attacks a player other than you, if able. Creative technique. Okay. Four and a red sorcery would demonstrate. So when you cast this spell, you may copy it. If you do, choose an opponent to also copy it. Shuffle your library. Then reveal cards from the top of it until you reveal a non-land card. Exile that card and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. Fiery Encore. What's going on here? Four and a red sorcery. Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard a non-land card this way... Fiery Encore deals damage equal to that card's mana value to target creature or player. I wondered when I was going to see a Storm card. So Storm, when you cast this spell, copy it for each spell cast before it this turn. Inferno Project. X and a red creature elemental with trample. Inferno Project enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it where X is the total mana value of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Radiant Performer, three and two red 
creature human wizard so 2-2 two, two with flash whenever when radiant performer enters the battlefield if you choose if you cast it from your hand choose target spell or ability that targets only a single permanent or player copy that spell or ability for each other permanent or player the spell or ability could target each copy targets a different one of those permanents and players wow okay another legendary in red this one three and two red it's Ryonia Fire Dancer. Legendary creature, human wizards. 3 4. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you create X tokens that are copies of other t target creature, of another target creature you control. Where X is 1 plus the number of instant and sorcery spells you've cast this turn. They gain haste. Exile them at the beginning of the next end step. Rousing Refrain, 3 and 2 red, sorcery, add red for each card in target opponent's hand until end of turn, you don't lose this mana a step, steps and phases end. Exile Rousing Refrain with three time counters on it, has Suspend 3, so 1 and a red, and we've always seen, already seen uh, what Suspend does. Interesting way that's been executed actually. Search to victory, four and two red sorcery, exile target instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard. Creature you control get X plus X plus X plus zero. And plus X plus zero until end of turn where X is that card's mana value. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player this turn, to copy the exiled card, you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. As I see more and more cards where they're copying spells, there's a number of things which I haven't seen so far, which uh, I would expect to be included in a deck like this. Reinterpret two blue red instant counter target spell. You may cast a spell with an equal or lesser mana value from your hand without paying its mana cost. Elementalist Palette, 3 to cast Artifact. Whenever you cast a spell with X in its mana cost, put 2 charge counters on Elemental Palette. Tap, add 1 mana of any colour. Tap, add colourless for each charge counter on Elementalist Palette. Spend this mana only on costs that contain X. And notice we're still on cards that are, have been specifically reprinted for this set, this product. So now, yeah, so that's that. Now we're back to reprints. Ether Gale, three and two blue. Sorcery returns six, tar six target non-land permanents to their owner's hand. So this is where we might just start to see the sort of cards I'm, I'm thinking should be in the deck. Ether Spouts, three and two blue. Instant for each attacking creature, its owner puts it on the bottom the top or bottom of their library. Dig through time is in here, okay. So six and two blue with a with delve to each card you exile from your graveyard while casting the spell pays for one. I think we've seen delve on a card already actually. Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them onto your into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Uh -huh. Diluvian Primordial, 5 and 2 blue, creature avatar, it's a 5-5 five five with flying, when Diluvian Primordial enters the battlefield for each opponent, you may cast up to one target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If a spell cast this way would be put into a graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Oh, I can see a legend lurking back there. Metallurgic Summonings, 3 and 2 blue, Enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create an XX colourless construct artifact creature token where X is that spell's mana value. 3 and 2 blue, Exile Metallurgic Summonings. 
Return all instant and sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. Activate only if you control six or more artifacts. Mind's Desire, four, two blue, sorcery, shuffle your library. Then exile the top card of your library. Until end of turn you may pay that. Play that card without pay. It's mana cost. It has Storm on this as well. So we've got a bit of a Storm thing going on, which again, I'd expect them to leverage Storm in an Instance and Sorceries deck. Narrow Maya Master Wizard. Two and two blue legendary creature, human wizard. So 3-3 three, three with Flash. When Naru Maya... Master Wizard enters the battlefield. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Other wizards you control get plus one, plus one. So we have a wizard lord. Swarm intelligence, X and a blue enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I wondered if this would be in here. <laughs> okay, so Tauran Sky Summoner. 2-2 two, two blue, legendary creature, merfolk wizard, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 two, two blue drake creature token with flying. Apex of power, 7 and 3 red. Sorcery, exile the top 7 cards of your library. Till end of turn you may cast spells from among them. If this spell was cast from your hand, add 10 mana of any one colour. Blasphemous Act, eight in a red sorcery. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. Blasphemous Act deals 13 damage to each creature. Brass Bounty, six in a red sorcery. For each land you control, create a treasure token. Charmbreaker Devils, five in a red creature devil. At the beginning of upkeep, return an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Charmbreaker Devils gets plus four, plus zero until end of turn. Dual Caster Mage is in here, another card that I was sort of thinking, trying to think of. Uh, one and two red creature human wizard with flash. Whenever Dual Caster, Ma Dual Caster Mage enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. It's a two, two. Erratic Cyclops, three and a red. Creature Cyclops Shaman, it's 0 8 with Trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Erratic Cyclops gets plus X plus 0 until end of turn, where X is that spell's mana value. Atali Primal Storm, 4 and 2 red, 6 6 legendary creature Elder, Elder Dinosaur. Whenever Atali Primal Storm attacks. Exile the top card of each player's library. Then you may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying their mana costs. Okay. We have a Planeswalker. Jaya Ballard. Two and three red. Legendary Planeswalker Jaya. It's five loyalty. So the plus one is add three red mana. Spend this mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells. Okay, another plus one. Discard up to three cards, then draw that many cards. Okay, so a bit of rummaging going on there. I think it's called. Minus eight. You get an emblem with you may cast instant and sorcery spells from your graveyard. If you, if a spell cast this way would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. So very useful in an instant and sorceries matter. Uh, EDH deck just to get that stuff back because of course instants and sorceries are not permanents so they uh, you can you can burn through those <laughs> this is a pun very quickly uh, get in a multiplayer format and that's great to have that sort of graveyard recursion five and a red so sunbirds invocation five and a red enchantment Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, reveal the top X card of your library where X is that spell's mana value. You may cast the spell among mana value X or less from among cards revealed this way without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And we're still going here. Vil 
yeah. Yep. Volcanic Vision, five and two red sorcery. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal to that card's mana value to each creature your opponents control. Exile Volcanic Vision. Wildfire, wildfire Devils. Three and a red, four, two, creature devil. When Wildfire Devils enters the battlefield, and at the beginning of your upkeep, choose a player at random. That player exiles an instant or sorcery card from their graveyard. Copy that card. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Call the Skybreaker. Five blue, red, blue, red sorcery. Create a five, five blue and red elemental creature token with flying. With retrace, you may cast this card from your graveyard by adding by discarding a land card, and in addition to paying its other costs. Yeah, I wondered at what point we would start to see more hybrid mana cards. Epic experiment X blue red sorcery. Exile the top X cards of your library. You may cast instant and sorcery spells with mana value X or less from among them without paying their mana costs. Then put all cards exiled this way that won't cast into your graveyard. Pyromancer's Goggles is in here. Five to cast Legendary Artifact. Tap, add red. When that mana is spent to cast red instant, a red instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. Exotic Orchard is in here, so tap, add one mana of any colour that, that a land an opponent controls would, could produce. Scavenger Grounds, it's a desert, land desert, tap, <coughs> add colourless, two tap, sacrifice a desert, exile all cards from all graveyards. Shivan Reef, tap, add colourless, tap, add blue or red, Shivan Reef deals one damage to you. Temple of Epiphany. So this is a dual land, enter the battlefield, tapped, it's got scry on it when it enters the battlefield and you tap it for blue or red. Desert of the Fervent, enter the battlefield, tapped, tap, add red, so I've got cycling on it for one and a red. Another desert in here, Desert of the Mindful, so this is the blue one. Forgotten Cave, another card with cycling on it. So enter the battlefield, tapped, add red, cycle. A single red is it boiler works again in you know these are what, enemy colored dual dual color decks so no surprise to see the original uh, Ravnica um, Ravnica block dual lands in here so in spout for tapped you, you also have to bounce a land but once this comes online you get it to tap for blue and red And of course the strategic, hang on, let me just check where is that bouncing. See, yeah, it returns a land. So, um, you know, again, clever use of this can, can act to, to advantages sometimes. It depends, I, I'm not in the deck, I haven't seen many, um, I suppose a few, might have been one or two there maybe. But you know, like enter the battlefield lands which have an enter the battlefield effect on it. Like those dual lands from um, the original Ravnica block uh, have inter interesting interactions with those sort of lands that, that have an ETB. So you can bounce one of those and then recast it to to re to get the uh, enter the battlefield effect. Lonely Sandbar, enter the battlefield, tap, tap, um, tap, add blue, cycling, single blue. Majoring Network, tap, add, colourless, one, tap, put a storage counter on Majoring Network, tap, remove any number of storage counters from Majoring Network, add colourless for each storage counter, remove this way. Memorial to Genius, and Spatful tapped, tap, add blue, four and a blue, tap, sacrifice, Memorial to Genius, draw two cards. 
myriad landscapes in here. And it's about full tap, tap, add colour list, two tap, sacrifice myriad landscape, search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. Reliquary Tower we've got in here, which is really handy in a deck where we've got lots of card draw. Uh, you have no ma maximum hand side tap, add colourless. Temple of the False God, tap, add two colourless, activate only if you control five or more lands. And now we move on to our um, basic land package, if you will. Again, these come from Strixhaven and they are just the two artworks that we've seen already when I open the uh, bundle. In a moment, you'll see the interesting new thing, which they've not used before. So this is obviously a duplicate of the lead card, but there's something a bit different about it. It's actually on. Yeah, it's actually on a thicker material here. So this is. Zaphire Thunder Conductor. It's two blue red and <laughs> it's exactly the same card as the Commander. And that's the whole point. So this is a slightly different one where it's like an etched foil on this plastic thicker card. I'm pretty sure it's plastic. I don't think it's that weird compressed cardboard that you sometimes see. It reminds me of the plastic that they they used to use um, back in the day. I opened uh, what was it, the tenth edition fat pack, not on camera, but it was before I started filming, and it had these nice dividers in it for the different colours of mana and for the artifacts and lands, and it reminds me of that material basically so yeah I'm moving this around a bit so you can see hopefully the foiling there it's pretty it's, it's slightly different than the foiling on the on the actual card itself let me just do that I don't know if you can see there it's really easy to see now the difference in the foiling So the idea is you could use this as long as you didn't want to, you weren't shuffling it into your deck. So use it instead of this. Makes a makes a change from the those oversized cards as well. Okay, so now we move on to our tokens. So yep, we definitely know there was stuff gen generating Drake tokens and elemental tokens, and I imagine we've got a number of Drake and elemental things here. Yep. And our treasure tokens, because I'm just generating that, and a construct token. And then an elemental. A copy, yes. Yeah. So there was something that was making copies of other permanents, so I wondered. Well, I was pretty sure they would include this sort of token, which we've seen before in Magic Products. And there's a couple of those with element on one side and copy on the other. And then this is that sort of, you know, very, very basic, you know, how to play, what, you know, what the different turns are and popular magic formats. So there we have it. That's that. Uh, it's back on camera. That's the blue red Sapphire Thunder conductor deck which they've called Prismari Performance. There we have it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.